Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I made these super fudgy, delicious chocolate crinkle cookies. These cookies are perfectly fudgy and chewy and so great for the holidays. So I can't wait for you guys to try out this recipe. So let's get started. So first we're going to start by creaming a half a cup of unsalted butter and two cups of sugar. Cream that really well until it becomes super light and fluffy. Next we're going to add 4 eggs into the butter sugar mixture. We're going to add 1 egg at a time. So adding 1 egg at a time is going to result in a super fudgy cookie. So this step is super important. So now that we have all our eggs in, we're going to add 1 teaspoon of vanilla. I always think it's important to use good quality ingredients, so make sure you're using a good vanilla brand. I'll link down below which vanilla brand I'm using if you guys are interested. So now we're going to mix all of our dry ingredients in a separate bowl. So mix 2 cups of all-purpose flour, 1 cup of cocoa powder, 2 teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. So now we're going to mix our dry ingredients with our wet ingredients and we're going to mix our dry ingredients a little bit at a time. If you're mixing this by hand, it is going to be a lot of work because it gets super thick as you start to mix it more and more. So I do recommend to mix this with a hand mixer or a KitchenAid when making this. I don't really mind mixing it by hand, it's a nice little workout so I kind of like it. So once everything is mixed through, we're going to wrap this up and let it set in the fridge for about 30 minutes. So now we're going to start to scoop the dough into powdered sugar. So I have one and a half cups of powdered sugar in a container. Also, my ice cream scoop is a little bit big, so I'm not filling it up all the way. If you want a smaller cookie, you want to use a two ounce ice cream scoop. And if you want a bigger cookie, you can use a four ounce scoop. So once your dough is covered in powdered sugar, we're going to start to roll our dough into balls and set them down into a prepared pan, making sure you set them two inches apart because they are going to spread out just a little bit. So we're going to bake these in a 350 degree oven for about eight to 10 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys.